talk, let's talk, Wes. Let's talk about <laughs> how how horrible this game was. Thank you. I want to just put an official thank you out there. Thank you for enduring this on my behalf. So I did not, I did not have to. Uh, you've got some stats written down here, some just things we talked about the <sighs> game. You filled me in on how it went. I was following along as well, but a combined. Seven for 27 on third down between both teams. <sighs> what a fu- 25%. Man, what a what a thrilling match this must have been. I mean, this is just four for 13 for the Patriots, three for 14 for the Steelers. And yet somehow we still have like six names worth mentioning in fantasy football. Like, like it, sure. it's, it's somehow happened. Listen, we'll start out with the quarterbacks here because, and this is six point passing touchdown scoring. So it's a little less if you're in four point stand, uh, four point scoring, but Mitch Trubisky with 23.6 fantasy points. And from everything I gathered and what you told me, Wes, he looked f- atrocious. Like he, he was so terrible. bad. He was I, really he was not good. And and the Steelers yeah. fans were not having it, man. They were they were chanting for Mason Rudolph to take the field. Oh, gosh. They were booing at almost every incompletion. And he had he had 13 incompletions. So it, it was just it was hard to watch. And yeah. Oh. And not even mention you talked about the third down uh failures that were happening on both sides of the ball. But then there were the fourth down conversions and they were just there inside the 10 yard line and they still don't get the fourth down. It, it, it was, it Terrible. was bad. And we actually, and we went into the game and Kirk Herbstreit was, you know, tossing around the idea like, Hey, there are two, these are two franchises that are uh, still trying to figure out if their starters going into the season should be their franchise quarterbacks. You know, we've got Mac Jones and and Bailey Zappi is now starting, but you've also got the Steelers, and they're they're kind of questioning is is Kenny Pickett really for them? And you know, Trubisky's been around the block. He's a veteran. Maybe this is where they want to go. Uh, don't you dare! Don't don't replace Kenny Pickett with Mitch Trubisky. That's please. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, terrible, terrible <sighs> stuff. And yet somehow we still land here with Mitch Trubisky scoring 23.6 fantasy points. I don't know who had the stones to roll out Mitch Trubisky this week. <laughs> I don't know who 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 had the the the, the steel nerves to, to just go. After ahead Herbert and... gets seven exactly. points. Exactly. But 23.6, I will say in a uh, in a dynasty league I'm in. Had some injuries and bye weeks at quarterback. So I've had Trubisky on my roster all season just because it was like, hey, if anything ever happens to Pickett, I think it was after Pickett's first injury that I was like, hey, let me let me pick him up just in case. And then Pickett came back and played that week, but I never dropped him. I had to play Mitch Trubisky this week. And I'm like, hey, oh my all gosh. Right, it could it could have been worse. It could have been, been worse. So 23.6 there. And then his top target and my my must start from Tuesday's episode, and it was a cautious must start because it was like, hey, I don't know if you want to be starting anybody in this in this matchup here, but if you have to start someone, make it Deontay Johnson. Seven targets is what you love to see out of this. He led the team in target. Actually, he was tied with Pat Fryermuth, but he led the team uh, with Fryermuth in targets. Fifty-seven yards and a touchdown on three catches. Not great, but he gets you 14.7 fantasy points. And that's, I, I mean, at least everywhere I saw, that's higher than he was projected. So you were saved by a little bit of a deep pass. I think it was like a 25 yard catch on, on that last drive for Pittsburgh. Uh, but Deontay ends up being being okay. And I, I, I guess maybe what we can take away here is like, it maybe feels like we're going to be spreading the ball around. I'll say, like, New England defense is no joke. They just held. Justin Herbert and the Chargers to six points. So like right. New they, they had a historic a stat actually. With yeah. um having three straight games of holding opponents under ten points. Or they've held opponents under ten points in three games. And in fact they lost all and, those. They lost every single one of them. Yeah, hilarious. But that's but so funny. That's they're a good defense. Yeah, so 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 this could be a little different against another another team. 
but it wasn't great. But it, it seems like Mitch Trubisky's going to spread the ball around. Seven targets for Deontay Johnson. Seven for Pat Fryermuth. Six for excuse me, six for George Pickett's. Uh, five for Jalen Warren, three for Najee Harris. Like it seems like everybody's going to get a little piece of the pie, at least from what we're gathering from this game. Um, but the only skill player that, if I have to play a skill player from the Steelers going forward, I mean, the running backs might be a matchup dependent play, but I, the only one I'll feel comfortable considering is is Deontay Johnson. So it seems. I I I can't. I can't. I mean, it's it's now playoffs. The next time we have a Steelers player to put in our lineups is going to be playoffs. Right. I three for fourteen on third down. I, I, that's an offense yeah. that's so inefficient. Yeah. Uh, there's no way I can trust the team to extend the play. This is back to back weeks. They've lost to a two win team, the Cardinals, yeah. and now the Patriots. And and it's Mitch Trubisky again for sure next week because Kenny Pickett was going to be out two to four weeks. So it's definitely Trubisky next week. I, yeah. And, and that, that's actually the concern for me is that he did spread the ball and only got 191 yards. I yeah, mean, seven targets to Deontay piece. Johnson, seven targets to Friar Moose. You said six to George Pickens. Those are all good. And, and, and Jalen Warren had five targets. You've been saying it. Yeah. Yes, they, the targets are nice, but he only got 191 yards. And, and truth be told, Trubisky should have had three interceptions. He should have had three interceptions. One of them was called back on a holding penalty, and the other – the it should have been four. It should have been four because one was just dropped by a defender, and then one was thrown into a Patriots team meeting, and it just <laughs> fell short. But it was I, – I I personally can't move forward with any Steelers player in fantasy for the playoffs because that – the best it feels like we're going to get is 15 points. That's not yeah. going to win me a champion. That's not going to get me to the next round. So – No, and it, it won't. I mean, I, I – I, I, if you – yeah, I'm, I'm with you. And it, it, I'm, all I want to say is if you have to, the only one I feel like – if you're like if I was desperate and it and I had George Pickens on my bench or somebody else, like it wouldn't be George Pickens. It would be whoever else I had. If you right. Deontay Johnson is the only one that you can put in your lineup and close your eyes and just hope. Hope something happens. And and and, and hopefully he <sighs> finds the end zone. Maybe it doesn't look good though. The, the this is I mean, hope hopefully the timeline return if you're desperate and if you've been banking on, you know, De- you're holding on Deontay, he was hurt and, you know, he was an early pick for you. I think fifth or sixth round. And maybe, maybe this turns out for him. Maybe whenever Pickett returns, maybe he gets lucky a couple weeks, but it doesn't feel good going forward with the Steelers, which is disappointing, especially for a guy like Pat Fryer move. Like we, we really felt like he was going to oh. pick back up in this new, in this new scheme offense here. And, and again, like all three weeks he's been back so far, like his targets have been good, but like the, the targets are so such low quality with Mitch Trubisky under center. So yeah, it, it hey maybe a long week helps him, but I'm not I'm not rolling anyone out in round one of the playoffs for the from this from this team. If, if they prove not. me wrong, that's when I'll that's when I'll close my eyes and throw somebody in a lineup and hope for a <laughs> miracle. But it does not feel good. It doesn't feel good. That's, uh, that's for sure. I don't know if anybody that made playoffs has any Steelers on their teams. I mean, honestly, I don't know if anybody that has yeah. Steelers on their teams has made fantasy playoffs. So this this may be a redundant talking point just to begin with. But the last thing, and then we'll talk about the Patriots' surprising success in fantasy and in the real world. It does it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overreact in this way, but you got to look at the Steelers' offense and be like. Uh, was Matt Canada really the problem? I mean, just something to think about as we look <laughs> at just the the offense and how inefficient they were. Again, it's Trubisky, not Kenny Pickett. So who knows what this game would have looked like instead? Yeah, but. we we've seen we've seen a quarter, we've seen a game and a half of Trubisky without Matt Canada, and we've seen a game and a half now 
with Trubisky at quarterback without Matt Canada. So I think next week will be very, very telling, hopefully, because we, you know, it's disappointing. Hopefully, man, I hope this is Tomlin pulls some voodoo and he keeps his streak alive of a winning record. Dude, just two get more two, games, just two more wins, two more wins in the next it. four. That's all you That's need. That's it. That's all you need. Two <sighs> more wins in the next four. Figure it out and you and you and split, split your final four and you keep your streak alive. So, gosh, the Pittsburgh Steelers make me sad. I'm never going to Pennsylvania. Uh, New England, on the <laughs> other hand, <laughs> hey, like four guys here that are like fantasy relevant worth talking about bailey zappy throws three touchdowns 219 for 28 240 and three throws an interception but he's 28 fantasy points on 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 the week and dude i think bailey zappy is going to finish as like a top five quarterback this week like like 28 More. points is is no small number like it, that's not super easy to surpass i mean We'll see no. what happens, but but dude, twenty eight fantasy point day. If again, if you were desperate, and you had to roll out Zappy somewhere. Congratulations, like you, sure you hit you hit a home run. Like you, you, he he threw three touchdowns. Good day for him. Um, More than this, though, Zappy's going to finish the year as the Patriots starter. <laughs> you oh, don't yeah, throw you can't, three you can't win a game. Yeah, no, you. If he won the game, if he won the game and threw for a hundred and ninety one yards, a touchdown, and an interception. He would he would remain the start of the rest of the year. Like if he had Mitch Trubisky stat line yeah. and they won the game, Belichick would have been like, "Damn, that feels good." <laughs> All right, yeah, roll him out, roll him out, zap, 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 zap. There we go. Um, he has a good a good game here for fantasy. Not sure how many people started up. I wonder what the percentage is there. But hey, there you go. Uh, the risky start that I rolled out was Ezekiel Elliott. I said twenty three opportunities in this game in the in the game prior once once uh Ramondre Stevenson went out was great you love to see it it's it that's awesome you, you you're you're loving the the workload he's getting we just haven't seen him be a workhorse in a long time so we don't know what it's going to look like we don't know how it's going to go we know James Conner just ran all over the Steelers defense 27 points for Ezekiel Elliott another New England Patriot that's probably that's, that's likely to finish top five of the position in fantasy this week Dude, yeah. is Zeke is Zeke maybe a league winner? Like, like we know Ramondre is good. We know Ramondre was a, was a very talented guy, but a big piece of Ramondre was, hey, he gets a lot of work in the PPR game, and he's he, yeah. he's, he's their guy. He's they they trust him. Dude, twenty two carries, eight tar- thirty opportunities in this game. I mean, crazy seven for seventy two and a touchdown in the air. Pretty inefficient on the ground. He had a 70, 70 yards, 68 yards on 22 carries. So wasn't like carving it up, but I'm rolling out. Unlike any of these Steelers players, I'm rolling out Ezekiel Elliott in round one of the playoffs next week, I think. Like, I feel good I, about it. I think, I I don't know. What do you think, dude? It's It's hard to look at that stat and say that's a fluke because – you do it two weeks in a row, and I know 10 points last week wasn't impressive, but if you're sure. going to get 140 yards on the ground and in the air, and you're going to finish with nearly 30 <laughs> points, I mean, I'll I'll admit it. I, I was worried about it, and Me too. I'm proven wrong, and yeah. I guess Ezekiel Elliott is the way to go for fantasy playoffs. Dude, Zeke might be a league winner. I don't know. This is like this is very, very interesting. I let me check here. I'm curious now. I want to see the remaining schedule. I want to see the remaining schedule. I want to see who else is in is is in the cards for them going forward. Because, dude, depending on this matchup, this could be this could be pretty pretty spicy here. They still uh, have to play. Kansas I think all City, of the AFC East. Kansas City, Denver, and Buffalo in the fantasy playoffs. So uh, oh, let me okay, here. Okay. Let me double check. Sorry, I, that was the matchup uh, matchup for Hunter Henry here. Case, uh, yeah. So Kansas City, Denver, and Buffalo. Kansas City, you've been able to run on a little bit more as of late. They're allowing the third highest yards per carry over the last month. Right. Uh, Denver, they're always their matchups always going to be tainted by the the Miami game, but they're they're you can you can tend to run against them as we saw Alexander Madison have some success in prime time a handful of weeks ago. 
Uh, Damian Pierce found the end zone. I mean, that, that's that last week. That's that's something interesting there. And then Buffalo, you you've been able to run the ball against this year. Like Zeke is Zeke might be a lineup lock for the fantasy playoffs, dude. I don't know. I, Just might. Thirty opportunities. <laughs> 30 opportunities. How do you, and that's the thing. Like, that's all like that. that that's matchups based off the ground game. Like dude saw eight targets, eight yeah. targets. And they're, they're, I mean, seven for 72 and a touchdown. Like that's dude, that's better than freaking. That's better than Deontay Johnson's day. Like what, like what? Huh? It's, it's amazing. You take away just the rushing statistics, what he did on the ground, and that's still more than 20 points. Yeah, that's still, that's just still 20 more points than 20 points. Air. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think Zeke is a lineup lock for the fantasy playoffs. The oh opportunities gosh. he's going to get is crazy. Is it 2016 again or what, dude? I don't even what is going on. Is Ezekiel Elliott about to carry people <laughs> to a fantasy football <laughs> championship? He very well could. This is crazy. I, I was debating. I'm, I feel I'm, I'm very happy I did this. I, I threw him into my lineup uh, last minute. I was debating between Jalen Warren and Ezekiel Elliott. Very happy I went with Zeke. I feel really good about it. It's exciting stuff there. A birthday boy had a decent, decent game. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was my don't start. Yes. And I believe my exact quote was, Hunter Henry isn't Trey McBride. Don't get cute. Well, Hunter Henry caught two touchdowns just like Trey McBride did. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is like what, like, I, I guess, I guess he is. I mean, happy birthday, Hunter Henry. 19 fantasy points on three opportunities isn't very sustainable, but good for him. He found the end zone twice. If for some reason you took a shot on Hunter Henry, congrats. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you there, but right. good game for uh, him. Let me. Was do it, we do we do we now roll out the Colts tight end because the Steelers of, are of playing them two next. straight weeks? Right? Is it is it Kylan Grant? No, yeah, I mean, maybe, who, dude. We gotta who's watch because maybe who's the Colts tight end? Kyle, Kyler Kylan Granson, I believe, or like I don't because I don't think Moali Cox is back yet. I believe they've got named uh, Ogletree as well. Like <clears throat> I don't know. I don't. Oh yeah. It's. I don't think you can, but it's something you watch because if the That's Steelers so do funny. do three weeks in a row, just giving up big points to the Grantson. tight end. Yeah, if they give if they Gosh. give three weeks in a row, giving up big points to the tight end spot, you, maybe maybe it's one of those matchups you target. Dude, dude, Kylan Granson just had ten points. Dude. I, if it happens, it's ridiculous. I don't know. Kylie Granson's going to get two, two two touchdowns against the Steelers in week 15? Absurd. I can't wait. Playoff but hero. You heard it here first. Fourth and troll. <laughs> <laughs> Last one here we'll talk about, and then we'll get through this Thursday night mess. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, 13 fantasy points, four catches for 90 yards on six targets. I, Wes, I think this is this – is, this isn't fluke or for real, but if it was, I'd say fluke. Pop Douglas is not playing right now. Uh, Devontae yeah. Parker, I don't think was active. I believe I saw him on the inactive list. I'm not sure if he was active or not. He may, I, he may have been. I could have missed. I maybe missed. No, him, I didn't but. see him at all. But so, it really, most of that was the first uh, drive. Really oh, is what okay. it felt like. The first like two, and it was like, oh, that's right. Maybe this is a revenge game for Juju Smith Schuster. He's in Pittsburgh. He's gonna try to do something. And that was kind of it. It was like really that first two those first two drives and that yeah. It just stalled out afterwards. So, so yeah, it is a fluke. Not not looking at much going forward there with Juju. Uh if if the passing game continues, it'll be through Pop Douglas, who when he comes back, he'll be involved, I'm sure. And and Ezekiel Elliott's gonna continue getting getting at least I, I I'll say he's gonna get at least five targets over the next three games. Like I think that's the story we're at with this team. Each game. Each game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the next yeah, through the fantasy playoffs, I think he will average five targets a game. Mark my words. We'll write that one down to revisit that because that's when I wanna <sighs> done. I wanna I wanna come back to. You. But Zeke is gonna be a playoff a playoff hero. I'm, I'm calling it. Uh last one, last last thing we'll mention on Thursday night. Because we got a comment on our one of our YouTube videos from uh, user Pain dash Pain is what I felt knowing this game was happening. By the way, Pain <laughs> dash QK four QH originality to the max right there. By the way, yeah. as well. But gosh, this is just 
creatives are everywhere, man. Great. Oh, that, it's just bur- we're in a renaissance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, listen, we got this comment on our YouTube video that we posted about about Thursday night and how terrible it was going to be. They just said, "F it, I'm taking Pats and the over." I don't know how much money you won in this, but but great yeah. job because you you knocked it out of the park. <laughs> She's That's a hilarious. genius. Yeah, unbelievable. I, there you go. I want to know, Payne, what who who are your uh studs and duds for the week? Could you let yeah, us know? Because clearly know. you know something we don't. You know everything. <laughs> yeah.